Hypoglycemia, which is low blood sugar. Let's give a little history with it. If you have not been born with diabetes, you first had low blood sugar, hyperglycemia. How does it work? Well, let's give you some numbers. Again, globally, it depends upon the blood laboratory. The numbers may vary. But let's imagine the numbers you want to have good blood sugar are between 60 and 110. If you consistently have below 60, let's imagine you have 50 and 40 and 55 and 45, that's chronically proving that you have a low blood sugar condition. If you have above 110, 120, 200, 300, 150, consistently and chronically, you have diabetes or high blood sugar. The craziness about this disease is that most people don't think and analyze the term blood sugar. It's sugar in the blood. The first scenario with hypoglycemia, it's too little blood sugar. So now the poor cells, and including the brain cells, do not have adequate sugars to feed itself and fuel itself. Those sugars should not be coming from processed sugars in any way be it agave syrup or not, they should be coming from foods such as green vegetables, sprouted grains, sprouted beans, that systematically move into the bloodstream, never are too much, can easily be taken up into the cell and utilized as a fuel. On the other end, now you have created too much blood sugar, so now every disease known to man is fed by that high, high amount of saturated sugar floating in the river of the blood. You may have hypoglycemia for months or years. One night go to bed. The pancreas just completely goes on strike. And the next day you wake up and you have high blood sugar. Unless you were born with diabetes, every diabetic went through what I've just explained. Initially had low blood sugar, and almost instantaneously, it moved into high blood sugar. So it's a good question to ask at this stage, because if you have it, as I pointed out earlier, I've never worked with a person, tens of thousands with type 2 diabetes, who are not able to heal themselves if they change their lifestyle. You know how much easier it is to heal low blood sugar or hypoglycemia before it becomes diabetes? It's a walk in the park. Just pick up our books. Come to Hippocrates. And you're going to find out what we've learned over the last 51 years.